Hi, I'm Brandon Gillis, the CEO of Luxonis, and I'd like to show you a quick demo of human machine safety using Depth AI. But first, let me give you a brief background on what Depth AI is. So it's an ecosystem of open source hardware, software, and AI training that allows you to embed human-like perception in actual devices. So in prototyping a similar life safety problem, we discovered that the combination of spatial sensing, depth sensing, AI, and CV, if they were tightly fused, was like a cheat mode for perceiving and interacting real time with the world. But we also found there was no way to embed this into small battery powered products. It required full computers in several disparate components, both hardware and software to be tied together. And the problem we were trying to solve required embedding this into a small battery powered product. So we, could, we were faced with the decision to either give up on the mission or build the platform. Depth AI and the Open CV AI kit that I'm, about, that I'm about to demo is that platform. So it is open source hardware, software, and AI training that allows you to embed this superpower of performance, spatial AI, and CV into your products. And to allow you to do that at low technical risk, we make and support standard products such as this one that was used to record this demo and a whole slew of others. This is a USB interface. This is power over ethernet IP67. And there are all sorts of others that you can check out on our website, uh, both with uh, integrated Linux hosts, various stereo ba baselines for, um, uh, it, with, with various camera modules, uh, of different field of view, uh, peer embedded, um, ESP32, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, for example. So you can run all the spatial AI and CV and, and say, just give the metadata results of what object it is or, or what semantic result it is and where is that in physical space uh, for machine control. So with that, let me, uh, let me play the video for you. This is a demo that we put together in uh, two days using our Gen2 pipeline builder, which is what allows you to tightly fuse all of these functions together in hardware. So what is this showing? Uh, we're running a palm detector model, and then we're running a standard mobile net SSD model that's a standard 20 class. And to make sure that we didn't hurt any engineers in the filming of this, uh, we just chose given objects as dangerous. So we're pretending that the chair, wherever it is, if you're in the volume of that chair within a vicinity, uh, that is dangerous. So you can see here, it's not marking dangerous when the hand is close to the camera because you're not physically close to the chair. Same when the hand is behind the chair, even though it's close in pixel space, it's not close in physical space. It's only once you come here within the volume where you're physically close, now you can see, okay, that's dangerous. So you could shut down uh, automatically emergency stop, say some piece of machinery in that case. Uh, the same code is then run with this bottle that happens to be in the class, the mobile net SSD. And as you see, again, getting close to the camera at the hand, you're, you're in pixel space close to the bottle, but not in physical space. So it doesn't flag an alert only when you're physically close. It shows the distance on the bottom left, tells you to drink water and not the soda there. Um, and that we, uh, as, as a bit of a joke with um, what the past 12 months was, were like for everyone, uh, we, we did the same thing with the wine bottle. Uh, and so when you're too close in physical space, um, you can see it's tracking the palm here. It says it's not 5 p.m. yet, uh, not, not time to, to crack out the wine just yet. And as you see, as the palm gets closer to the camera, um, it's not flagging this because it's measuring the physical distance. So you can see that actually increasing from the bottle as it gets closer. Uh, and this would not work with, uh, with a monocular solution. And let me pause here uh, because the monocular solution would have to rely on depth and would not work if the scene changed. So the bottle can move, the hand can move, all of this can be dynamic. It's just static uh, for the purposes of, of one man recording a demo. Um, so what you see here is the distance 177 millimeters get the XYZ position of the hand. We chose the center of the bottle is what it's measuring to. Uh, and so you're too close. It's telling you it's not 5 p.m. yet. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff happening in the background here. So disparity depth is being run on depth AI. Both neural models are being run. Uh, and then the region of interest from both neural models is being passed to our spatial calculator node, which is what fuses uh, both, uh, both temporarily and spatially the results so you can get the XYZ between these uh, disparate image sensors. So the, uh, the grayscale uh, one megapixel for global shutter depth and the 12 megapixel uh, rolling shutter. Uh, and what we found in preparing this is this off the shelf hand model happens to perform the best on RGB. So we ran both the mobile net SSD that's detecting the bottle here and the hand model on the RGB. 
And then on platform, on uh, Depth AI itself, uh, the, the depth results are being mapped back to the view angle of the RGB. So this is actually doing the reprojection of the depth back onto the RGB, the, which is the center camera, the 12 megapixel here. Uh, and then all of this is fused together on Depth AI to give you the X, Y, Z locations of both things that you care about, in this case, the hand and the dangerous object, the bottle of wine. And uh, again, this was thrown together uh, in just two days with our pipeline builder, which is what allows you to choose the neural models you want to run, the disparity depth modes you want to run, and how to tie those together and what results you'd like, say, warning you not to drink wine before 5 p.m. Uh, and so, so that's it for this demo. Uh, just just a, a quick idea uh, of what you can build um, with, with our pipeline builder, uh, with our hardware. Uh, and I'd love to take any questions. And, and feel free to check out docs.luxanus.com to see all sorts of other pre-canned examples that we have. Uh, thanks.